We will uh, be fucking you in the ass, mathematically, of course. It won't be some arbitrary virtue signaling nonsense like what we have coming out of Ottawa now. And the amount of Jewish cocks I will be taking will also be mathematically driven and coincidentally will be coinciding with my paycheck and not in any way homosexual at all. As for the amount you'll have to pay for milk, that will not be mathematical. That will be very subjective depending on how much money I want to send to Ukraine or Israel on any given day. I was actually online the other day, and people were talking about a great awakening. Really? Joe Biden has actively molested kids on C-SPAN, and you idiots are still going on about the flight logs, as if it's like the next season of your favorite sitcom, and it's actually going to go anywhere. As if the hundreds of trillions of pieces of evidence about 9-11, endless wars, spying, censorship, murder, rape, and forcing medical decisions on people are just not enough. Many of these are actually out there in the public, and there's literally zero conspiracy associated with them whatsoever. It literally has the people doing it on the TV, admitting it in plain English in front of everyone. But if you just go down one more rabbit hole, things are going to magically change as if the problem is people just don't know. I personally love how we're at the point I could come up here and say anything, really. Nobody even cares. Use chemical weapons on anyone who calls me Millhouse. Uh, drive a monster truck into a children's hospital. Take a flamethrower to the elderly and the homeless. I could walk right up to one of my supporters, spit in his mouth, and tell him I fucked his mother, and he wouldn't do anything. In fact, you know what? I'm going to break character right now and drop some real hints. Don't you think that's a little odd? Like, it's a little more than Yuri Bezna, whatever the fuck his stupid name is, speech about demoralization and brainwashing? I'm sure that guy was on your side. I'm sure in a world where millions of people get killed on a whim, they wouldn't use his head as a battering ram on every door out of the building if he said something out of line that actually threatened the system. Is that what happens to you when you try to tell the truth? You're broadcast on TV or pushed to the top of the algorithms? Put in a Call of Duty ad campaign? How come none of that mind control stuff works on you? Maybe something outside of your same old little toy box that says everything is being run by secret societies going around in black vans is going on. Do you seriously think Bill Gates and Klaus Schwab look like really menacing, untouchable masterminds? Or do they look like a bunch of cartoon characters that would get fired from Arby's and the reason this works is because they're role players, just like the billions of mindless automatons all around you that never seem to question anything no matter how obvious something appears to a real spiritual human being like all of you out there. All I have to do is just not have my last name be Trudeau and have a blue tie on and I can literally do everything he's doing and advocate for it actively, just add legally after all of it, and my supporters who hate him will defend me to the death. It's like cuckoldry on steroids, and neither of us even run anything. I mean seriously, it's not even good cop, bad cop, it's like two bad cops and both of them want to anally rape you, but one is just wearing a hat that says, I'm your best buddy old pal with a smiley face on it, and the people that call one side brainwashed for just accepting the rape openly make excuses as to why they have to get raped by the other guy for optics. Optics for the people that openly wanted to kill them not that long ago, and advocated for putting them in camps for not getting lethally injected. You're right, guys. It makes perfect sense. Keep fighting the good fight. Just one more conspiracy proven correct, and then it's all gonna work out. Keep digging. Keep wasting your fucking life away. Billy Mace here with Conspiracy Lotto Ticket. Are you tired of having joy in your life? Well, now you can huddle over a computer in a dark room and get tortured psychologically for free by the same people you claim you're winning a fight against by psychotically looking at every little thing they do and tell you to look at like you're stalking an ex and never moving on with your own life. All by them just saying, this is what we really don't want you to look at while having it publicly available and promoted everywhere, but with fake marketing effects of artificial scarcity and reverse psychology. They now have you pressing the button to shock yourself without them even having to do anything. 
Mud Flood, Tataria, the coming economic collapse that was supposed to have happened multiple decades in a row by now, the moon landing, aliens, the Anunnaki, pick a conspiracy lotto ticket on a conspiracy topic for only $19.95. And after you scratch the ticket, every single one without exception in the history of this realm says fuck you, without any resolution whatsoever. But wait, there's more. Whether it be on JFK, or 9-11, or the Titanic, there's always one one more layer, and even more suspects, and nobody looking into any of this can come to a consensus that most people can agree upon. Whether it be who the culprit is, or what actually happened, that must mean this is a very real world, and all you need to do is buy one more conspiracy lotto ticket for another $19.95. That's right, soon the world will be yours, and you're gonna figure all this out. Today, one more night in a dark room. You got this. And if you don't, you can always send me another 1995. Pork paste.